Five, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Why is that falling on the countdown then? Yes, people, what's going on? It's Boy Barry TV here. Welcome back to the Old One Outcast. We, Kirby's back. I've returned. Ke- he's returned. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm all right. You good? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, right. Right, that can't stay It's there. a really good aesthetic, though. It looks <laughs> good lovely. Aesthetic, aesthetic. But it's not there. Right, well, we'll just move it, like, there. Can, can you see? Can you see? We'll go with it. Yeah. How are you, Kirby? You good? Right. Spent a week in Switzerland. Wow, did you? Yeah. That's oh. crazy. Yeah. Was it good? Just neutral, in it, so no one can get me there. Oh. oh I've got just a lot of gold. Out. Yeah. Oh. I've got a lot of gold acquired from the 1930s to 40s. Really? What? Yeah, what Nazi gold? What? <laughs> How is this? Uh, is this podcast about Nazis or? Nah. Oh. Just we always tend to I go the Amber w- Room. Amber Womb. <laughs> Should we move on? Yeah, quickly. So um, last week we uh, said to you guys to send us uh, some questions in. Um, <laughs> come flooding in, all right? No. No? Okay. Well, You're uh, all useless. <laughs> no. Maybe not say that. Don't care if we only get 100 views. I've got two genuine <laughs> things. You're no, all I, fucking I, I've useless. Got, I've got some good questions. Um, but um, yeah, should we go straight into the giveaway? Of I've course. Got, we, uh, listen, I'm, I'm quite an environmental man. Oh, yeah? So I feel like we saved the paper. Yeah, save the planet. Save the planet, save the paper. I've got a spinner here. He's got a spinner. Yeah, that was really loud in my ears. Um, and we got we got nine people. Wow. This really good. It's actually really good. So I'm gonna press it. To uh, to uh, how'd you how'd you get into the giveaway? All you gotta do is like, comment, and subscribe. That's all you gotta do. Simple Piece of piss, ass. mate. Piece of piss. Just before Christmas. Do you yeah. know what I mean? He, do you want an early present? Do yeah. your family want? Need an extra yeah. present or a gift card? Do you love your family? Yeah. Cause do you want to die d- alone? I've seen Christmas Carol. Shit. Do we move on? <laughs> I think that got a bit, a bit stretched. Fucking hate Charles Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I'm going to press it. I've, I've pressed it. Fucking hell, this you shattered the oh no. <laughs> Right, so the person that's going to win £10, who ounces is Unknown Links. I don't know who that is. I don't is. know who that is. He, well, to be fair, if it's his name, I don't know who that yes, is. Yes, you are unknown. And he probably smells great. Oh, he's a cat. <laughs> he's a cat. He either really likes Lynx yeah. or he's a cat. So <laughs> well, no fair play. well, congratulations. You've won a tenner. Um, good, good for you. It's the first time he's entered as well. Good for you. And then the second one is, I hope you can see it. I can. Can you? No. Oh. <gasps> it's a tie. <laughs> it's just creeped off of Aiden into Goodell. <laughs> Goodell's won another tenner. Congratulations, Goodell. That was a great episode. That was a good episode. Last episode. That's his reward. Yeah, that's his little reward. Another tenner. Um, yeah, congratulations, boys. I can spend that on my Christmas present because I've got him one. Yeah. Have you got him a Christmas present? Yeah. Well, he, what already, is it? he already knows what it is, but um, he's got a new setup, and I was like, yeah. I'll get you. Sk- it's like you need. Looks like you need a coaster on that desk. I was like, I'll get you a coaster for Christmas. <laughs> I've got my pack That's of coasters. That's very thoughtful. I don't know. I've got a pack, pack of, of coasters. Yeah. How many? Don't know, like five maybe. Wow, that's a lot of coasters, mate. They look smart as fuck. I really <laughs> you only need really one to arrive. Really? Yeah, they're smart what as fuck. Does it? What does he know this? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're very open with your presents, then, are you? Well, I, I well, he knows what it is, but he doesn't know what actually they look oh. like because coasters could be anything nowadays yeah 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 yeah. yeah. should well, we move on uh, please do yeah before we get into the questions there's yep. some there's some things going on that i want to talk to you about because it really interests me please go ahead what do you think about floyd money mayweather <laughs> fighting logan paul i'm so in this it's gonna be almost an exact repeat of the mcgregor fight do you think yeah but in this case, he's not fighting someone who can actually fight and was a two-weight UFC champion. Yeah. He's fighting a YouTuber. Yeah. It, it's such a weird fight. I'm still going to put money on Logan. Oh, yeah. Because the odds are going to be ridiculous. Hey, and You lose uh, money if you bet on Floyd. Of course you do. <laughs> you put five grand on it, I swear you just get fuck all you back. Get, you'll get like 5,020 quid back. Yeah. Which is good investment, really. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, no, unless... unless it's rigged, right? Do you think it'd be? I don't know. Nah, but that's me. That's the only way Logan would ever win mm. is if behind closed doors, someone between someone else has agreed that they'll put fuck tons of money on Logan, 
and then Logan beats him in like the fourth round. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but gets a lucky punch, but that's only because it's rigged. Anything else? Yeah, but ha- never you got to remember that they're the two massive egos. Money, Floyd Money, I can never say money. Floyd Mayweather is not going to want to lose to a YouTuber because really, if he does, yeah, he's going to be the new Nate Robinson. You say this, Bailey, yeah, but at the same time. If see he secretly put three million on him to lose in the fourth round and he get and because of the odds he gets like fifty million back. I don't yeah. think he'd care. He yeah. literally said in one of the interviews, he's like, I'm gonna he's like, I'm gonna ruin this guy's life, then so I'm gonna go fuck off to Japan again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Fair play. Yeah, he loves going to Japan to Mate, fight and stuff. He's gonna give him so much money and they're all shit. Yeah. Did you watch the exhibition match he had with that random Asian fighter? Yeah, and you that Asian kid looked like he wanted to die it after was Awful. Round. He if, you know, Mayweather he was flat footed. He was just walking towards him, right. laughing. You know what I mean? Like he's just Yeah. Hmm. Just nah. It's it's just I'll still watch it of course. Yeah. But the only way Logan Paul would win if, if is if it was a rigged fight. Uh you no, but I dunno about that because you gotta remember boxing's a wild sport. Oh Bailey. It take no listen, Bailey. listen, 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 listen. Listen to what I'm saying, right? It only takes one punch. Bailey. Logan Paul is like 200 pounds. Bailey. Mayweather's 150 Bailey. pounds. That's a whole human. That's a whole small human. What's Mayweather's record? Remind me. Well, 50 and 0. Yeah. Who's he been fighting last 50? Huh? Who, who were the last, last, last 50 people he fought? Do you want me to name them? Please do. <laughs> because I guarantee, <laughs> apart from one of them, they were all professional boxers. Yes, <laughs> I know. But living. Some of them are probably uh, champions now. He did. He, he fought Canelo as well. Yeah, Pacquiao. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Madonna. I'm not saying that. I'm not <laughs> saying Logan Paul. <laughs> no. Like, really? Yeah, Steve's. He's Steve's about it. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to say that uh, Logan's gonna win. I know you. But mean. I'm saying you shouldn't. You, you know, you can't write it off, especially in boxing. It takes. It just takes one glove. I'm I know exactly. Th- I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. But it will not happen. Could you imagine though? It'll do exactly what he did with Connor. Yeah. He'll fuck about for the first mm. like four rounds and then go, fuck, I'm bored now, I want to go home. Yeah. And he'll be like, right, I'll finish this here. And then, then two rounds later, Logan Paul's fucking on his knees. I don't know. No, no, no. no. I, don't, I don't think that. I think I think Floyd's just going to keep his distance. He's going to let mate, Logan he, come to him. Mate, How many rounds is it? Do you know? Probably. I don't actually know. Because it's surely it's a pro fight. I don't know if it's 12. Yeah, because I don't... Logan's fucking guessed out on... Fighting KSI in like four rounds. Right. I don't know. He'll be a fucking shit. But show. um, but yeah, watch. I think Floyd's just gonna toy with him. To be honest, yeah, I'll probably like I said, I'll probably put like depending on the odds, I'll probably put like a five on Logan Paul. Yeah, because of like your logic of what if. But could you imagine he just so Mayweather he just is flat-footed for one second and he gets clocked on the chin and he goes would down? Never happen. It wouldn't happen, but it could happen. It could in happen. a dream world, I put ten pound on Logan Paul and get two grand back. <laughs> That's in a what dream I'm saying. World. You, you know, you're not losing that. Yeah. yeah. I just, I, I think it's incredible that you know, like, it's got to the point where YouTubers can actually fuck. Like, I saw a tweet, right? And I, I'm not gonna get up because I don't want to fuck this up. But it said if. Theo Baker. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. no, no, no. I put that in the Twitter chat. Oh, I put that you, in the Twitter chat. Did you put it in yeah, there? The butterfly yeah, effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. The butterfly it. effect. So if Theo Baker didn't leave his job at McDonald's, <laughs> uh, Mayweather wouldn't be fighting this oh, year. No, I put How that weird is that? Chat. That's so funny. That is so weird. Because it's it's so true. Big Theo Baker. A big what up man. Theo Baker. How, how does Theo Baker link with Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> Literally, Floyd Mayweather... Should be grateful for for Theo Baker, you know. Yeah. He probably would have fought, fought someone else, but um, I'm excited for that. I'm definitely gonna watch that. What do you think about um Nate Robertson getting clowned? Well, we I'm pretty sure we said it would happen, didn't we? Yeah, we did, we did. But I think everybody said that. Yeah, and no surprise. <sighs> no, I've got nothing f- to say. I feel than, bad for him, though. Do I you? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about either of them. Really? Not the slightest. Why? Don't care about Jake. Don't care about some retired basketball player who's five foot three. He's not five foot three, but did you see him get? Did you what? Did you see him get? I've seen out? the knockout several times, <laughs> and each time I go, couldn't care. It's sad, though, isn't it? He's now not invited to the cookouts. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> you never, you never heard of cookout? Should we get into the questions? Go ahead. 
You go first because I feel like yours might be a bit more serious. Yeah. So I've got lots I've, uh, of ones. I've got some questions here. Um, mm-hmm. Are you ready? Go ahead. So, yep. the, f- the first what? one. Uh, sorry. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. First one we got from Tanika. Big up. Big up, Tanika. Met her once. Have you? I don't say, well, I was in the <laughs> room. Was in the same you room. Was there. Yeah, I was there. I remember now. Are, um, are chocolate digestive the goat of biscuits? No. No. Just, no. They're good. They're not goated. What they're is like, what is goated then? Right. Gotta say bourbons or something. I don't like bourbons. Yeah, okay. I do like custard creams. <coughs> yeah, they're good. Right. I'm gonna, gonna a bit digest. off topic. Are um, Jaffa cakes cakes or biscuits? Um, you find them in the cake sections. Legally, they're a biscuit, I think. Legally, <laughs> because it's all about sugar tax <laughs> and stuff. One can have more. Than, you, uh, I swear, this was a thing that they was like, yeah, legally they're biscuits or something like that. Because you can have more. It's like to do with sugar and yeah. tax and all this stuff. And it's like, <laughs> I don't think that was like legally we're a biscuit. <laughs> legally, that's brilliant. But anyway, Jaffa cakes are pretty fucking good. <laughs> they are. If that's a biscuit, I'd say they're better than digestives. I just think digestives are a bit. They're digestives are like something you can always rely on. Mm-hmm. But if I was like, yeah, fuck, I really want a digestive, I'd be like, fuck me, I'm in my thirties right now. <laughs> Don't know. I feel like digestives I, are the one. I want to say custard creams because I really like custard creams. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's that's the goat for you. Probably no, I wouldn't say goat, but they're my personal favourite. Yeah. I can't really think of many biscuits off the top. <laughs> Jammy Dodgers are. Oh. That's a good one. Exquisite. I wouldn't say they're as good as digestives, though. I would. Digestives are too plain for me. I like a bit of spice. Pla- <laughs> <laughs> I buy spice on my jam. jam. <laughs> oh, my my voice is really rough. I swear I'd get hot. I don't know. Call them jam spices. Oh, my God. Why are you? Why are you? Why? why? Skew it up. Skew it up. Um, <sighs> but when you put a digestive in a tea, right? different gravy. Because it's not gravy, it's tea. Slightly better than a normal digestive. Because the, the chocolate melts and the biscuit goes soggy. You you know what I mean? Bit of soggy biscuit. <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't really know. I don't, I'm not a biscuit person anyway. Are you not? Not really. Nah, not really, really um, either, to be fair. Like I said, I, I like a packet of custard creams every now and then. Mm. Pack of Jaffa cakes if they technically count as a biscuit. <sighs> yeah. But I'm not fussed about custard creams. or Not custard creams. So I'm not fussed about biscuits really. Not big Bourbons fan anyway. Bourbons are a fucking overrated. If you know, <laughs> Bourbons overrated. Oreos are decent. I think Oreos are so overrated though. Blonde Oreos are my favourite. Blonde Oreos. Yeah, blonde Oreos. Are you good? What? What does that mean? Blonde Oreo. Yeah, you. I know what you said. I don't know what you mean. What's a blonde Oreo? You never had one. They're unreal. I don't know what you're on about. Blonde Oreos. <laughs> Do you not know what you I mean? Say it. I know what you're saying. I so. I take picture it it's a, custard, a white one. Pi- no. Oh, picture of custard cream. Right, picture I've got the, it. Picture the type of biscuit, not not the filling, the type of cream. Not oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> picture the biscuit and a custard cream. Yeah. 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 I'll take that biscuit and make it Oreo shaped and put it on an Oreo. Blonde Oreos. <laughs> it's still chocolate Oreo. No, but they taste like custard. They're like custard creams and Oreos had a baby. <laughs> I'm just gonna move Got on. A question. Yep. From Lucy. I don't what? Know who this is. Who's this? My ex. Ah. <laughs> um. Whisper. Do you like vinegar? She knows I hate vinegar. I like vinegar, of course. Oh, you're a creep, mate. Not really. You are. So you're telling me, right? Cl- wait, just close your eyes. Close your okay, eyes. Okay, they're closed. <laughs> We're at, you're at the beach. Mm-hmm. Lovely hot day at the beach. Oh There's God. What? Sorry, I just see some naked. Old lady at the beach. My imagination is very good. Cheers for ruining my. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go, go, go. You're at the beach. I'm at the beach. You're like, yep. fuck, I want some food. And I was like, yeah, I'm a bit hungry. Mm-hmm. You go, let's go up to the chip shop. Yep. Bang up to the chip shop. Yeah. Like, why, I pet? Don't know why you're from up north. north now. Um, yeah. But you go, yeah, can I have some. Um, you can I just have a medium portion of chips and a bat sausage if you're yep. feeling adventurous. <laughs> feeling, yeah. Yeah. And they go, yeah, do you want salt and vinegar on that? And you go, no, just salt. Do, can I open my eyes now? No. <laughs> because at this point, yeah, you go, no, just salt, yeah. Mm. The whole restaurant stops. Really? Everyone stops and looks at you and go, just salt? Are you a paedophile? Um, and no. you can open your eyes. Oh, can I move now? Yeah. <sighs> it's just like pond water. 
No, it's not. It is pond water. <laughs> it's like right, pond. so you've drank a bit of pond water, yeah, and go, fuck I've... me, this tastes of vinegar. Yeah. That's some gammy pond water, then. What's <laughs> living in there? Literally gammy pond water. Yeah. No, I just, I ain't got time for it. I think you're missing out. I don't know. I do. But I do eat salt and vinegar. Chris. I don't know, I was looking around. I just... Fucking but hell. I just Do you know what that is, Bailey? That's the that's the equivalent of saying I don't like tomatoes, but I have tomato sauce. Yeah. I'm that I'm that that guy. Not that guy. Mm. I I'll just like, hate it. I like vinegar, salt and vinegar on chips. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. I ain't, I ain't got time for your cab. I think you, you're fucking delusional. <laughs> <laughs> right, well You want more questions or do you want me to ask you a steep one? Go on, now? go on, I'll ask for you one now. I've I've still got some, but is cereal a soup? <laughs> Is it a soup? Would you class cereal as a soup? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm no. Gonna say, no, I'm saying no. No, because hot. Oh, no. cereal oh. is milk and something else. Mm. And with soup, you eat the whole thing. I know you can drink the milk. and I, But what I'm getting at here, mm-hmm. you can have soup, yeah, mm. that's got like, I don't know, like leek and tomatoes in it or like leek and potato leek and potato seeds lovely do you yeah. know what I mean you can have that you might have a little bits in it but you eat the whole thing do you know what I mean yeah that's one food item yeah cereal is two things combined yeah but you could put carrots in a soup yeah but the soup's already pre-made you're just adding stuff that's okay. like having that's like having a ready meal yeah, and mm. putting grain a bit of cheese and going, I've made that myself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're just no, adding I mean. things to a pretty <clears throat> main thing. Yeah. I don't think so. No. Would you date like... a girl, or no, sorry, would you not date a girl because of her name? Like, if she had a name like Schmeichel. Schmeichel. <laughs> if she was Casper Schmeichel, right? Yeah. Would you date Would her? I date Casper Schmeichel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to say. No, she has some raucous name. Um, would you look past? Could you look past that? Yeah, but you got you. What's the what's the rest of it, Bailey? What do you mean? Like, is she like? Do I really like her? Is yeah, like problem? pretty girl, get oh, on well. Yeah. but her name is Dave. <laughs> Maybe not Dave. See, well, yeah, where's I the just, line then, Kirby? I probably, I probably could, but I I wouldn't call her Dave. You'd have to. <laughs> she'd always have a nickname. What would you call her? I don't one of the cringy ones. Do you know what I mean? I ain't saying. <laughs> you can't say it, I please. Say it. Nah, I ain't cool. saying. Say it. Cool. The same one. Nah. Thank you. I'm trying to think of a nickname for Dave. D. Big D. <laughs> I've got one from Liam, uh, my cousin down in London. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- this is gets very serious. You ready? Yeah. Why do Tories think it's a good idea not to give free meals to kids who can't afford to eat? Um. I think this one swings both ways in a way. Like what? Well, because they're not. Because uh, I think, I think it is a bit. I don't know. You got to remember, yeah, that these kids aren't. This is sorry. It's very. It's hard to explain. <laughs> yeah. Careful what you say. Yeah. Well, no. But <laughs> you sound like you're gonna say some madness. Well, not really. But like these kids you, don't deserve it. <laughs> Well, no, the kid. No, I mean the kids obviously don't deserve to be hungry. You know? Yes. But yeah. I kind of think that I'd, if the it's not get the your kid, words out, Kevin. Okay? I've got to think about stuff like this. It's not the kid's fault, yeah, mm-hmm. that they're in that situation. However, you can't. This is this is why people don't like labour, right? Right. Because labour, like, oh, we're a party for everyone. We're a party for everyone. Mm-hmm. And then me and you, I mean, not anymore. But, you know, we you know pe- we go out and work and we earn money and we pay tax. Yeah. And this tax is all filtered down by everyone in the country who works. And then these people who don't do fuck all with their lives and kind of, you know, are dossers, get that money. Yeah. And these kids who, who are hungry, I know it's not always the case, and this is the big argument. Yeah. But <clears throat> some of these kids don't have foods because their parents can't, don't spend money properly. Yeah. Or they'll get their money from the government. And they'll spend it on shit they don't need or shit they can't actually afford, and then their yeah. kids goes hungry. It's a mix of, it's it's a mix of. These kids don't deserve to be in this situation. Yeah. But you can't keep propping up families who keep failing, to to provide for their kids. Yeah. Do you know what I mean if if you was a worker, <coughs> if you had, do you know what I mean if you and your partner or even just you were living. Do you know what I mean? Living and you basically, you didn't work. You got money off the government or whatever. Mm-hmm. But 
you couldn't adequately provide for your child. Yeah. I, I, as a person, don't think it's the government's... I know they should. I know in a way they should. But if they've given you all the tools yeah. to go out and work mm. and help you by giving you a bit of money, if you cannot then use that money to help your child, if you yeah. choose to spend it on shit... There's got to be a limit to how much <coughs> how much you can give these people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Th- th- there is a limit. There's a limit. You but can't I bet, I bet, just keep letting people you know, get away with abusing a system. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but like I said, it's not the, the the big thing is it's not the kids' fault they're in that position. Yeah. And they shouldn't go hungry over Christmas and stuff like this because mm-hmm. of COVID and all that. But you can't keep propping up failing things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean when business is what the, do you know what I mean when a business is failing? Yeah. You don't keep propping it up. Because there's a reason it's failing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You have you let it not let the pit baby might pick that words. <laughs> you let that business die out, yeah. and one come and get a new one come in and try its thing. It mm. might work, it might not. But if you keep propping up <coughs> failing things that fail, yeah. they'll never learn, mm. and they'll never improve, and they'll never get better. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying take away to go back to people. I'm not saying take away this money that they get from the government. Yeah, I'm just saying that if you keep giving these people who who choose they're not disabled they're yeah. not mentally unwell they're not they have no reason not to work other than laziness and like oh do I, i'll get money now well it depends on the situation yeah obviously obviously like yeah. i said yeah, that's yeah. why i'll never say all of them mm. because it's not one of them no There's no no hundreds and thousands of people yeah, yeah. who get money from the government for um fucking a good cause know. not a good cause but, but they but deserve for reasons it. yeah but you know i'm <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just think that you know you can't keep propping up failing business. Like wow! Well, by business, I mean people. Yeah. You can't keep propping up people like that. But you can give up on a business. You surely you can't give up on people. Don't know, mate. Especially kids. But that's the. But that. But they. But I'm not. But they don't give up on them. They still give them money. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I just think. But like I said. But it's, does it's every such a fine line? Do to they talk. all get money? Huh? Do they all get money? Who's it all? Like all the because you know kids are still going hungry. Yeah, so but where's no, but their money? Whose? The kids. It goes to the parents. The, the parents. Oh, but that's what I mean. These people don't know how to spend money. They don't know how to save. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't know how to do stuff like this. I understand that you go, oh yeah, but the system failed them. But yeah, but you can only blame the system to a point. Yeah. At some, surely, surely when you get, surely when your only income is the government sending you a three, gr- two grand, I don't know how much it is, that one. Mm. When it, surely when the government. Send, your only income is the government sending you two grand a month. Yeah. At some point, and you're barely surviving off of that, and your kid is going hungry. Be careful. <laughs> yeah. Do you know I mean, bit. surely, surely there's some initiative that in you that goes, I'll, I'll go get a job. I'll get a job. I'll get a part-time job. Do yeah. You know what I mean, mm. but in some people, mate, there really isn't. Yeah. Some people go, fuck, I'm getting. Some people, that's the perfect life in a council flat where they don't work and they get money from the government. <laughs> yeah. And then they go, but <coughs> they go, fuck, fuck Boris. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not a big fan of Boris. I'm not a big fan of the conservatives and some stuff that they say and do. But at the same time, you can't disagree that you can't keep propping up people who fail. Yeah. If they are not, if, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if they're not taking <gasps> care of their fuck. kids, it's not the government. Yeah. No, I, I hear what you're saying. The government shouldn't, shouldn't just bail them out. Every yeah. time, mm-hmm. because then they they because then they've got no incentive to do anything. Yeah, yeah. It's essentially like saying, right, you don't work, Bailey, but every month, yeah, we're gonna give you money to survive. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You'd, why, you'd, you'd have no initiative. Yeah, yeah you'd go. Well, I'm not doing anything then. Yeah. If I'm getting two grand, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, and obviously but some mums can't go anywhere because they're because like having a kid is like a job in itself, especially if they're like a single mum. But so I get that. But, but, but there's, like I said, that's what I mean. I'm not saying all. No, 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 of course but not. But obviously there's certain people who, like I said, are disabled, mentally can't work. Yeah. Or have like, I don't know, like some very severe autism or like are a single mum and their kids are young. They're very different scenarios. Yeah. But they should be getting more money, but it's the people who scrounge off the system that take the money away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? When people... Because obviously you get child welfare, welfare, don't you? Yeah. If you have three kids, you get an extra bit from the government because you've got a kid. Mm-hmm. So that's people, though, that have a fucking huge family living in a shitty council flat because they get a bit more money for it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And their parents don't work. Do you know right, I mean? well, you smash that. Let's lighten it up a bit. Yeah. I got very dark. It's just well, it didn't on. get dark. Nah, like, un- we get what you... you got to understand that there's always two sides to every story yeah. and the just saying that the the you know conservatives saying that no we're not going to we're not going to 
follow through this initiative yeah isn't them saying we hate every starving kid it's yeah saying we can't keep giving your hard-earned money to someone who doesn't deserve it because they don't know how to keep money properly. I, th- I think Boris is going to DM you tonight and go, very good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sticking up for me. Was that a good accent? No. No? Okay. Well, you got. A, what's this question? Right. Completely derailing, <clears throat> completely what I've just said. Yeah. Um, is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> are you hungry, Kirby? No, this is just a list of the questions. Some of them are a bit shit. Mm. But yeah. Uh, is it a sandwich? Yeah. It is. I'd say it's a sandwich. I'd say it's something different. A, hmm. a glizzy is a glizzy. Actually, no, I wouldn't say it's a sandwich. I'd say a sandwich is when the bread is like a... The sandwich. bread's attached, though, with a hot that's, dog, that's isn't it? I mean. That's what literally... You need at. it to be, you know, a part. Yeah. Is eating, eating a glizzy gay? <laughs> I don't like glizzy. I anyway. generally don't... I can't eat one in public now. I don't like them anyway. I do like them, but... I don't I'm like them. Well, I don't... You I love do. A glizzy. <laughs> Sorry. He loves glizzy. He <laughs> got the glizzy. I do. No, I don't mind hot dogs, but yeah. like, um, if if I was at a burger van and there's like, do you want a cheeseburger or hot dog? I'm cheeseburger every day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. I bad. love how you know the internet has turned something so innocent as sitting there eating a hot dog <laughs> turned it gay. I don't know. I think it's just American. <laughs> yeah. Oh mate, that's brilliant. Do you want me? To, all right, I've got another question go as on, well. Go on. All right, um, f- from Liam as well. He sent in some really good questions, actually. Mm. Who was better, Gerard, Lampard, <laughs> or if you're fucked in the head, Skulls? <laughs> um, Gerard. You say Gerard. Gerard or, um, <coughs> or Skulls. Skulls, yeah. Lampard's pretty good, but don't get me wrong. Gerard's different gravy, so Skulls. Mm. There's that story of um, <coughs> they used to go fucking pull Skulls' is like gameplay videos at um, La Masia. Really? If you even know what that is. No. Um, Barcelona's training camp. Oh, is it? They're like bit academy. It's called like La Masia, La Masia, mm. or something like that. But like when um, Xavi and Iniesta were like there, it's like they used to show like Paul Scholes, like game. <gasps> he game. was just so good. Yeah. So good. I Hell of a ping on I'm reluctant to speak on it too much though because they were all before I started caring about football. Yeah, yeah, so me I too, too. I fair. just I just know. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just know who Go give are. it to him. Lampard is still doing stuff for Chelsea. Yeah, he's a really good manager. Yeah. He's, he's doing manager. really well at Chelsea as well. Yeah, he's a good manager, mate. He, he opened up the doing. fucking book and went, I want Timo. I want Havertz. Right, big random question. Go on. Do you think they brought Timo Werner yeah. as an almost a way to prop up them buying Kai Havertz? What do you mean? Two German internationals, two yeah. young German players playing yeah. the same league. Yeah. I think they're, they're clearly mates. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you think they... Um, do you think... Because they really wanted Havertz, didn't they? Yeah, They yeah, yeah. really wanted mm-hmm. Havertz. Yeah. And obviously, Vern is a good... He's, a, he's missing a few sh- stinkers. He's gonna, it's going to take but him a season to get he's used still to young, it. He's still young. Yeah. Give him a season. Quality player. But I was watching some video on it, and it's basically saying that... Yeah. You know, do you think they brought Werner as, say, as an... In- obviously, because they wanted him, but as like an incentive. Game. Yeah. We brought, do you know what I mean? Like we're, we're well, going, it helps him, definitely. Like, we've just brought another young, keen German player. Yeah. Like we're keen. We want to buy players. We want you in our setup. Mm. Do you think it was a bit of an incentive for him? Yeah, Havertz definitely. He sees his mate going over to Chelsea. Yeah. And they're like, I could do that. I yeah. Because they was hot on Havertz. Obviously, and players talk. Like yeah. Like said, players talk. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, all it takes is um, Lampard to say, hey, you know, <laughs> message habits. <laughs> yeah. DM them. No, definitely, because it, you know, they're, they're both they're gonna play better if they've got you know someone that they know, mm. you know, especially if if it's a striker and a, and a sort of like a centre mid or cam or whatever, um, because you know the, the link up is better, the chemistry between them is better because they're friends and they know their strengths and weaknesses. So no, yeah, I definitely think they perform better because of that. Mm. But <clears throat> I think people are too harsh on Werner. Well, how are you going to bring him into a whole new league? And Prem is so is so different to all the other leagues. Probably one of the hardest. Yeah, definitely, I'd say it's the hardest league. But how are you going to bring him in, a, a young talent, into a big club like Chelsea and expect him to perform? Mate, Leipzig's a big club. Yeah, but not as big as Chelsea. Not is as it? big as Chelsea, but you. But bear in mind, he was playing like the Champions League for the last two years. Oh yeah, so no, he not, can take. Not, I'm not uh, saying he can't take it, but it's a whole new world. Do you oh, know yeah. what I mean? Prem 
Prem football is different. He's, he's doing he's doing all right. Yeah. Like I said, this is his first season. Give him a season, he'll be fine. Yeah. Just got to sell in. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win the league? It's going to be Liverpool again, Man, is it? I honestly think Spurs have a fucking good shout. Yeah. It's like I was speaking to Ethan. I think it was Ethan who said this. But um, as you know, we were talking about it, but he, I think he said it was from something he'd listened to. Yeah. But <coughs> um, but obviously, Chel- not Chel- uh, Chel- a little bit Chelsea, to be fair. But City and Liverpool play a lot because of the Champions League yeah. and the Cups. And a lot of their players are getting injured. And he was like, because of the, their really busy schedule and the type of first football they play, that high yeah. press type of football, they get a lot of injuries. Yeah. And he's like, but if you watch, obviously Spurs are fucking counter-attacking merchants. Mm. They sit fucking 17 plays behind the ball every every game. Yeah. But they'll sit back and who do they, they beat someone the other day and they had like <coughs> 30% possession and they won 2-1. Yeah. It, was not Ch- it wasn't Chelsea, they drew Chelsea. No, it was Arsenal. Arsenal, yeah, because it was Sun, that screamer, yeah, that Sun really good goal. Kelly. But yeah, but like, the I was way doing they that play in the London derby, it's a great goal. The way they play their football isn't very obviously it's taxing. Yeah, but it's not as taxing as like how Liverpool and City play. Mm. You just get you, you get all your players to be on the ball, win that ball back, smash up a counter attack, see yeah. what happens. They're a bit, dare I say, they're a little bit like how Leicester was when they won the league. Yeah, the very counter attacky. Quick. Got yeah, a lot of pace. Yeah, actually, Son is world class. Son is a w- yeah, he's coming out from. But yeah, he's becoming um, I something. Think Tottenham are in a good shout if they can keep. Form. Do you think Son will leave Spurs? Do you mean Son? S- who am I saying? You keep saying Son. He is my son. <laughs> um, Son. No. Well, you go? think he'd stay? Where would he go? Well, it's not about where would he go, but yeah, it is. When a player gets really good, Mate, Spurs people are, are going to be interested. Spurs are a big club. Yeah, but there's always the bigger. League final like two seasons ago. Yeah, I know, but there's always bigger. Mm. You're reaching a little bit, I think. What about Harry Kane? I don't know anymore. I don't know why you would leave. Mm. Real Madrid fucking stinking. Yeah. Barca is stinking. Yeah. D- <clears throat> fucking, what is wrong with my throat? I don't know. Um, too many glizzies. Too many glizzies. Did Barca. you watch the Juve Barca game? <clears throat> uh, no, but I've seen. I've watched the highlights. Fuck me, honestly, I don't know who it. I don't know who approved the transfer of Arthur. Uh, that mm. swap deal of Arthur and Arthur to Juve for like seventy mil, and then Barca get Pjanic. Yeah, that's a fucking stupid thing. Mm. That's like something you'd see on fucking um, career mode on FIFA. <laughs> Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like you're just gonna swap a player because you don't have enough money to buy him. Yeah, why are they? Why? Young aspiring player, yeah, and they bin him off and get someone who's like, what was he like, thirty two? Fuck knows. But their midfield is so old. Yeah. They sold. They binned off. Mate, Juve's an old team. Not really. Buffon's old. Yeah. Ronaldo's getting old. Yeah, but Ronaldo's different gravy. Oh can't. yeah, he's still you world can, class. Ronaldo's gonna be forty five and fucking jumping six feet in the air. <laughs> yeah. He no, just built different, isn't he? No, they're not that young. They're not what? Juve ain't that young. They've got a few. They've got players. young, yeah. They've got young they, talent in there. They're very mixed. They're mixed. That um, I don't know his name, but one of the the fellow who didn't score the penalty. Um, he's young. Um, is Chiellini still play for them? He still plays for them. I don't know. I don't he's know, old. I don't know the starting lineup. No. I think, I think he does. No, that might have been Benici, but no, they do. Yeah, the I've, got, I've got. I've got one. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah. Hey, right. I got another one from Liam again. He sent notes in. Yes. Right. If animals could talk, what one would you try to take home? I, I figured, I, f- I guess he means like, what one would I, would I have a conversation with? No, which one would you have sex with? <laughs> I was joking. Yeah, yeah, let's say that. Any animal. It doesn't matter if it's in the UK. Dolphin. Or... Second, se- second smartest things on the planet. Yeah? I'd want a semi-intelligent conversation. Fuck, I wouldn't want to talk to a dog or a cat. Yeah. The dog would have nothing interesting to say, would yeah. it? Love me. Love me. Food. Fill my bone. Food. Fill yeah. my bone. Are you good? I was going to say fill my bone. But then I went to say ball as well. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Do you know what I mean? They fucking have nothing to say. Yeah. What about... um? What's like a wise animal? A goat. A mountain goat. I thought he was going to say owl. Yeah, an owl. Boom. Parliament. And that. Yeah, a group of owls. Yeah, good man. Yeah. You looked at me like you just... No, I just... 
Took me by surprise. <laughs> what, like a murder, Bailey? Crows? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Stop. Shit. We need to stop flexing. We always flex right, our so, animals. Um, uh, Anthony Joshua is fighting... Did you hear me slur my words then? No. I'm so drunk. Brilliant. Are you <laughs> Anthony Joshua is fighting Pulev. Pulev? Pulev? Is he? Is that Pulev? Not, I don't know who he's fighting. I don't fucking could, whatever. Could not care less. Um, Until he fights Tyson Fury <coughs> or Wilder, I yeah. do not care. What do you think... I mean, you, I know you said you don't care. Are you going to watch it? No. Great. Don't care. Really? I don't, don't like AJ. I don't care. What if he loses? I mean, he's not. Uh, what if he loses? That just proves how shit he is. Mm. Does it ruin the Tyson Fury fight? Would he fight um, Tyson Fury? Well, not re- it doesn't really ruin it. It just reassures the fact that Tyson would wipe the floor with him. Yeah. Basically. That's going to be a big fight when that happens. I doubt it will ever happen. Oh, it's got to happen. I think AJ's too scared and someone like Eddie Hearn, who's his manager, is way too smart to to, to (coughs) to freely let Anthony Joshua walk into the wing, into the the ring with two people that would murder him Mm. when they they built AJ up as a people's champion type person. But he's just shit. Yeah. I think since he took that defeat against Ruiz... I feel like they're going to set he up a lot more. He should have lost against <coughs> Parker. Huh? He should have lost against Parker. He outboxed Parker no, on that didn't. one. He did. Bailey, he, he, he did he not he sorted, outbox. He that did man that, he could outbox. outbox a bit of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a toast of fury. Yeah, he does, sir. No, he, no, Joseph Parker, he outboxed him. He outclassed him oh, in every, he everything. He did. <laughs> Mate, I was sat at Connor Brazil's house with Ethan Ruddick and Aiden and Charlie Way and we watched that fire and went, fuck me, that shit. Because it was fun and radic. And it well, it was wasn't fun to watch, but he... Shit. Yeah, but he... dead fight. He stuck to his Parker game plan. should have won. No, he... To this stu- day. Anthony Joshua... <laughs> no, <laughs> to this day. Anthony Joshua stuck to his game plan. Of and being he, shit. And he, no, yeah, and but he, he won the fight. Lost. He should have lost. It's, yeah, but he, it's like... You will do not. People, do people say that about Floyd Mayweather? He runs, but he gets wins. You know, it's not all not comparing counts. Anthony Joshua No, 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 no. You know I'm not. I'm trying fucking to say, ben, fucking, fucking <laughs> no, I'm trying to say if a fighter is fighting more smart and it's not going for the he knockout, he was because he, he didn't, Shit. he won the fight. He that is smart. He shouldn't have won the fight. He only won it because I'm pretty sure it was, um, not rigged. I'm pretty sure it was in the UK. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's rigged. I mean, it's rigged, but if you're fighting in your home country, the judges are going to be a little bit biased. Oh, have you ever seen that video though? <clears throat> what? So I think it's in Japan, but, they have uh, honeybees aren't native to Japan, right? But they pollinate better than the Japanese bees, so they brought loads over yeah, to yeah, yeah. pollinate mm-hmm. these, these like European ones. But Jap- Japan, a little up, Japan has hornets. Yeah, I swear to fucking god, they're like this big, <coughs> and they're yeah. terrifying. Mm. And um, they just get take they take the beehives to k- eat, get food because mm-hmm. they're dickheads. Yeah, but the way bees kill them is loads of them swarm one, and they. Over the heat it. in it, yeah. yeah they they cook them, yeah. They literally and they so weird. beat their wings because bees can survive at higher temperatures. Mm. So they basically cook these fucking things alive <laughs> and then go, Yeah, on to the next one, yeah. They're fucking vicious animals, yeah. It's weird. Nature, nature doesn't give a fuck about <laughs> your feelings, mate. Nature is r- ruthless. <laughs> yeah. If you swam from one side of the Amazon River to the other, not length, width, would you make it? Yeah, I don't think you would. If you're, wait, wait, are you including like currents? <coughs> anything. Oh, then no. Yeah. Because I, th- I reckon you'd be swept away by a current before anything killed you. Brother, you any- got, yeah. You got to remember though, <coughs> the, fucking chest. the in water, mm. obviously we're more vulnerable, but we're still big, mm. and things only really tend to fight things that they know they can kill that are smaller. So that's why sharks don't actually really attack people. Yeah. They just take little bites. Because I put a little bite for a great right shark if you let. <laughs> yeah. It's but you. it's because um because we're, we're <gasps> it's because we are big and they don't know what we are. So realistically, you probably could. Yeah. Because the chances of a crocodile see like even our crocodiles get huge. Crocodile will grab you, man. I don't they don't I give don't, a fuck. No no no, that's the thing though. You think you say <clears> that, yeah, but even if a foot if a I know they do get huge, but even if a six foot crocodile, yeah, was on the bottom and it you it was saw you above, I'm I'm six foot one. 
I'm to ear, I'm the same size. Mm-hmm. And you've got to think as a predator, are you really <clears> going to waste your time and effort to try and kill something that you don't even know what it is and it's just the same size as you? Have you got to think, then it probably goes, fuck that, I'll look for a fish or something smaller. Have you seen crocodiles though? I know. The, Do I you know think the, they look at you and go, oh, he looks strong? But no, but mate, it's all about, um, <clears throat> it's all just all about survival instinct. And they don't different. give a fuck. No, mate, they do. They will though. grab you and spin you, bro. Mate, it wouldn't. Zebra, you see, the zebras are bigger than that's you. That's different, but it's hunting. It's actively hunting. And yeah, it but if it could come there. But Bailey, you're on about swimming. I'm not stood on the shore in crocodile infested thingies. Yeah, if but water buffalo, active, water buffalo have mate, to get from no, one side to the other. No, 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 no. No, but we're talking about crocodiles, right? So water buffalo Cain, have to well, travel from one side of the river to Caimans, the other. Don't you think? Or anything. Caimans don't get very big. No, I know, but they in, in crocodiles in Africa, they but they still take down Africa. water buffalo. Not They're not going to think twice we're not about, on about you. Africa, though. No, no, we're talking about crocodiles now. Yeah, but do you, if you you got to be <coughs> geograph, geograph, geographically correct, because two two animals and two different things, yeah, do not act the same way. No, yeah, both of them, yeah, but both of them act the same. Not really. They're one of, a crocodile's not gonna look at you, Cabby, and go, "Oh, he looks scary. I'm not gonna no, eat I'm him." I'm not saying I look scary, but this or is look the, big. But no, it would though. They take down things tw- two, three oh, times bigger Africa, than you. Though. These are two different animals, realistically. <laughs> they're still the same, mate. They're not though, mate. They're one, like millions one, of years old, bro. Yeah, they don't. They haven't is changed. In Africa, and its its whole surrounding, its whole essence is. Everything out, everything on the water is huge, but I'm going to kill it anyway. Mm-hmm. When you're in the Amazon, you're probably the biggest thing for miles around. Really, there's not a lot of hippos. Big... You don't get, yeah, but that's fucking. They don't really get hippos in the Amazon, bud. But what do you mean? They don't get hip- hippos. Aren't native to South America. The only ones in South America that were in fucking Pablo Escobar's private <laughs> zoo that got out when he got yeah. arrested. Yeah, but you so hippos. you are you? What are you trying to say? The Amazon crocodiles or South American crocodiles? Yeah. Well. Are they snakes snakes would scare me more than crocodiles yeah I'd rather obviously fight a crocodile than a snake huh i said i'd rather fight a crocodile than a snake no but that's just because i don't like snakes no nah, well i don't like pythons yeah they just they they strike they trigger fight or flight in me they yeah. they they it's just the way they they look i just think oh, i'm not going near that yeah crocodiles i i i know it sounds random <laughs> i'd strike a crocodile you'd what I'd stroke a crocodile. Do you know what I mean? I'd stro- touch a crocodile. Oh, right. I yeah. wouldn't go near a snake. Snake. A snake. <laughs> I wouldn't. They, snake. they strike a nerve within me. Yeah. I reckon you could swim across an Amazon. If, if, I if I, you're saying you're immune from the fucking disease that you'd probably get <laughs> yeah. swallowing that water. <laughs> you'd get fucking animals in your dick and stuff. Yeah, if you're saying you're immune from all that <clears> shit and there's no current, I reckon I could swim across. Mm. People jump in all the time when they catch fish. <laughs> yeah, they're just different breed, though. But you know what I mean. I, I really don't reckon there's a lot that would actually go for you in that river in that short period of the time. Have like, you seen river think, monsters? Yeah, but you got but you got to think though, mate. Like I said, you got to think about nature. Nature's all about survival, and yeah. why would something fuck with something the same size of it if it didn't know what it was? If it they know what you are, they though, they don't know what you are. There's people in the Amazon, but they're. But they don't know what a human... It's hard to explain, yeah. But a crocodile has evolved to kill fish and things on land. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, things like that. I don't know you're in the water in this scenario, so you are at a massive disadvantage. Mm. But like I said, you're still tall. You're <coughs> weird. You've got... You're bipedal. Bipedal things are fucking strange to animals. Yeah. There are no other bipedal animals. Think of that. That's weird as well. There's no other bipedal animals. I know you can argue chimpanzees, but they walk around mm. on their knuckles and shit. Yeah. They can do it. They're just it. straight back, don't they? They can do it, but... Yeah, mate, you could swim across the Amazon. Yeah, but crocodiles eat, or fucking. alligators eat people in America all the time. That's it's actually a America. big thing. America's just different, though. <laughs> what do you think... I think I might have asked this before, but what do you think has more dangerous creatures? The uh, Australia or America? I think America America, does. yeah. I don't... I'm not scared of spi- spiders. Mm. I know you are. Oh fucking hell! But I don't know. But the thing is, yeah, there's I know there's spiders that can kill you and poison shit. But I'd rather fuck with a small spider, yeah, than a six hundred pound grizzly bear. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? And wolves, yeah. coyotes ain't gonna do fuck all to you, are they? Nah. Dingoes. No. Like little dogs. I'd kick the fuck. Depends out of if how many how many there are. I don't think they're a pack animal. Should we talk? Finally, have we? Sp- no, we haven't. Should we finally talk about your you backing yourself against? 
hyena. A hyena. Yeah, I've changed my mind on that. Yeah. I've seen a few videos. I've seen them in real life, but <clears throat> mm. I don't know. They're, uh, I just... I don't know. It's more... I think it was more the fact, yeah, that you kind of... For, I don't know. You almost forget, like, fucking that thing's wild. Bro, that is all I was telling you. That no. thing lives in Africa. That's what it does. Yeah, but We go to Tesco and get some... What did you get? Fish cakes with chorizo in it and you free cheeses. That thing actually kills things every yeah, single day. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking about size comparison. <laughs> I don't know. But That's have you re- retracted your statement? Yeah, I'm trying to think what else I could fucking mad. Right, what, what do you reckon you can kill then? Oh, well, <coughs> there's this guy, I forgot his name on TikTok, but I've been following this guy on TikTok. He talks about how terrifying humans are. Yeah. And... Fuck, he's well interesting to listen to. But mm. he basically, he says that we, could, he's like, well, you know, we could kill most prey animals. Yeah. Because humans outrun everything. We're problem solvers as well. We use not tools. Even, yeah, but not even just that. But humans are built to. We like we have the most stamina of like any animal. I know you people got people because he was like, oh yeah, but people go, oh birds are, but birds have like the help of um. Cur- like air currents yeah, and all yeah. this shit. <clears throat> they glide, don't they? Yeah, they don't, they don't do anything. They, you know what I mean? Like, but humans sort of adapted to outrunning things. Yeah, they would essentially walk stuff to death. They would just slightly jog after things until the animal physically couldn't run out of stamina. Yeah, and because most things like you know gazelles, <coughs> fuck, they'll 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 outpace cheetahs. Mm. But realistically, they can only do that probably like two times before they're shattered. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But they're light though. They ain't got a lot of muscle to them though, actually. But, but you know, like as an example, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of a lot of prey animals are um are built to like fucking peg it away yeah. as quick as possible mm-hmm. or hide. But when you've got three people like wolves do, almost like in a group doing that, yeah. All you gotta do is follow them for a bit, and they'll give up. Yeah, they'll give up. They'll just run out of energy. Well, that's what that's what the wolves do, don't they? They like punch the animal, make it heavily bleed, and they follow it to until it just slowly dies. Did you know, like, <sighs> only the numbers wrong, but still. Did you know there's only been, like, actual two cases of wolves killing people? Yeah, yeah. They, like, they don't fuck with humans. Since, like, 1950 or something like yeah, that, there's only been, like, smart. four registered cases mm. of wolves actually killing a person. And one of them, and they've been hunters, haven't they? No, no, one, and, no, like... Oh, no, one was a... Oh, no, it was a lion. But, like, two of them were because people try and own them. Oh, people yeah, People try yeah. and, like, raise wolves or mm. have wolves as pets. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's just... You're yeah. asking for it, Yeah. Then. It's like people are trying to have chimps as pets. Fuck yeah. you, or different gravy. Yeah. Diff- not different gravy, or different breed. What do you think about evolution? I think it's so fascinating, right? So, for example, how the fuck, right? You know how tigers have those white dots on their ears? Yeah, so they think something's behind them. Yeah, so it looks like they've got eyes, right? How the fuck does it do that? And um, You know, the camouflage. Evolution. But what is evolution? Who is doing that? Nature. Do you want me to tell you how it works? I know, I know <coughs> a little bit about it. You know how it works? Well, basically, so all life is, <laughs> technically applies for humans, yeah. all life is is reproducing. It's passing yeah. on your genes is reproducing. Mm-hmm. So let's say you've got three tigers, right? Oh, hear my voice back. Yeah. One of them has little spots in the back of its eyes. Mm-hmm. Just because of chance, just because of colouring, do you know what I mean? Genes do all that mm-hmm. weird shit. It just one just happened to have Oh, oh, yeah, on the back exactly. of its ears, yeah. just because of you know how genes work and yeah. how color works. The other two don't, and then you know they're all going about their lives and shit. The other two might be a bit bigger, maybe a bit quicker, but mm. this one has it dots on the back mm. of its thing. And then those other two, what's it called? Get killed. One maybe one because another tiger snuck up on it, yeah, or uh, because of basically. Because or something else killed it. Do you know what I mean? Hunting, hunting yeah. Well. Maybe hunting, but I'm kind of talking a bit. Before. Yeah, yeah. But like maybe hunting or s- something else killed it. But this one has dots on the back of its ears, <coughs> so it was gonna get snuck up on. But then something thought it was looking at it. Yeah. So it ran off. And then this one is the only one survives. And then this one goes and mates and re- yeah, you know yeah. reshares its genes. And now his cubs have dots yeah. on the back of its eyes, and they do well because. You know, like I said, th- they something sees that and they go, oh, fuck, I'm not messing. He knows I'm here. Yeah. And they fuck off. Yeah. That's all it is. That's all evolution is. It's not luck of the draw, but, you know, it'd basically be like, I know you've got dyed hair now, but it'd be like if you had black hair and I had blonde hair, and then, um, do you know what I mean? And then, what's it called? And then I, 
I survived because my blonde hair matched the desert a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. something killed you because you stuck out. Yeah, yeah. And then I reproduced my genes and my kids will have blonde hair. Yeah. And then they are better camouflage. It's all it is. It's all it's survival of the just, fittest. Yeah, yeah. But it's just chance that you are the fittest. Yeah. What um, about um dart frogs? Because they have bright colours to yeah. for the only purpose to say, Listen, mate, don't fuck with me. I'm yeah. that's why like you I'm never see um so poisonous. Is it like orange? It's like orange, red and yellows. Yeah. Animals that have them are either dangerous or saying I am dangerous mm. even if they're not. They just have them. Like that corn snake on your arm. Yeah. Like that has the yellow on it because yeah. it's probably like... Just like venomous. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's a, it's a warning. Yeah. Like you fuck with me. Like it's but basically like how I'm is, here. How does that make sense then with that evolution thing? Because that's not about... Well, I guess you could say that they've survived because, you know, something sees it and goes, fuck that. Well, like... Do you know what I mean? So like... Um, I'm just trying to think of a, of a pretty animal that's... Well, like snakes are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like snakes... We'll probably camouflage the environment. But if you have an orange snake that's very poisonous yeah. and something fucks with that snake and it gets killed, those genes don't exist. That snake mm. has written that gene off of that bird or lizard yeah, to try yeah. to kill it. And the other ones that don't go for that, <coughs> if they, I mean, I don't know, if they fucking saw it, they'd go, oh, fuck, I'm not doing fucking that thing. Yeah. But then they survive. And those lizards that survive because they didn't fuck with the orange thing, they'll fucking, when their genes, you know, yeah. when they grow up, they'll probably be, they'll probably have the same. Thing and probably like, I'm not fucking with that bright orange thing over yeah. there. Do you know what I mean? Like a peacock's feathers, it's there for attracting mates and to warn off danger. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot else. No, it's just there to be. It's a big fuck off. Yeah, you come to me. What? I'm like six months bigger now. Fuck off. I love those lizards that have got the things. Oh yeah, I love them. I wanna. I'd love one as a pet. I don't think you can have them as pets. <sighs> They're venomous, though, aren't they? I don't think so. And they're not. I think they just run and scream. Just they run on their pine legs. <laughs> they do, don't they? Those are fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. What about um fun hover, fact? Hover, go can on. I hear your fun fact? Go on. Um, sharks have been around before trees. Really? Sharks, like the first evidence <clears throat> of sharks, was like five hundred million years ago. Yeah. And the first evidence of trees were like four hundred million years ago. So sharks have been fucking about in the ocean before trees were fucking. True, because the world was literally just one continent and. Ocean, won it? One, yeah. and then obviously yeah, before, and obviously life broke up in the ocean. Yeah. So early evidence of sharks shows that there's <coughs> sharks before there was trees. Yeah. So that's, that's an cool. apex predator for you. Oh, they them and crocodiles, and maybe snakes. Snakes, no, it's just them and crocodiles haven't changed. Snakes have, because snakes. Do you, you ever heard of the Titanoboa? Yeah. The fucking huge. On arc. Oh wow. Um. Yeah, they they sort of devolved into smaller, say like, smaller, but an anaconda like still fucking huge. From a land animal. What has whales? Oh, really? Blue, a blue whale's ancestor. Um, it was like a dolphin thing, and then mm. it basically was like a like a little mammal fuck because they are mammals, aren't they? Yeah. So it was a little mammal fucking about on land, and I don't know. I guess went for happened. a swim and then thought, yeah, I like it. Stay here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'd be the biggest thing ever to live. How do whales have sex? Moving swiftly on. Um. Now, have you seen a sperm whale's penis? How big it is! It's not even that big, like compared to like mine. This is a brilliant topic. What about um? Do you you think it's called you know like uh, hoverflies when they try and disguise themselves like bees? How does that work? I think you picked the shittest example of that, but yes, I do know what you mean. (laughs) How's that shit? That's cool. Because there's, uh, there are other animals that do that, Bailey, but you've picked the shittiest fucking one. No, hoverflies are sick. They're, the, they're shit. Why also, they look like wasps, not bees. It's wasps, sorry. Because nothing likes wasps. Mm. Do you know what I hate? I hate people that are not knowledgeable about wasps and bees. The difference. I hate it when people kill bees. I do as well. I fucking Same hate bees, them. bees, man. They're going extinct a bit. That's what I'm saying. A bit, a lot. People yeah. just like... They well, think it's not that bees not are like trying to <laughs> fuck with you. It's not. There isn't like a lot of people fucking murdering bees. Like there is, them. bro. In my school, I, oh. mate, everyone killing bees. Have you um? Bro, oh, I got a good one, Go on. but I don't know. If, nah, fuck it. I'm gonna say it. <clears throat> it's a completely different topic, by the oh, way. Okay, it's okay. not. Wait one second. Okay. Are you good? Yeah. Refreshed. Yep. Can you remember your first kiss? No. You can't? No. 
Really? Yep. I don't know why I would. That's a big moment. Not really. <laughs> How is that not a big moment, your first kiss? Do you remember your virginity story? I'm not going to ask you it. Yeah. Next episode, I will. Well, kind of, yeah. But basically, I have quite a... No, it's just a funny story. I just don't remember stuff like that. I had I heard a rumour that this girl wanted to kiss me in primary <laughs> school, right? What, a guy wanted to kiss you? What? No, a girl. Her name was Muhammad. No. Basically, word, you know how word gets around. He wants to the kiss playground. you. <laughs> yeah. Or said, so oh, yeah, hey, do you know um, that Melissa wanted to like, f- fucking stick a tongue in our baby? Yeah. Like, no way. Um, do you have a juice box? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so I heard this girl was kiss me, right? And I fancied her. Do you know what I mean? Can you fancy someone at that age? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think you can have a proper relationship. No, it. it's not love, is it? But you know what I mean? Just a bit of fun, isn't it? <laughs> no, and anyway, um, I hid behind a tree. Is that it? Uh, no. Well, yeah, That's the, I hid behind a tree and she found me hey. and we kissed under the tree. Westwood. I don't even know her name. I hope she's doing well, though. That was such a... I don't know how to Refreshing explain. story. I mean, it's just the fact that you went... I oh, went under a tree and then just stared at me as if I was meant to continue this story. For well, you... you no. Nah. Shall we wrap this up? Uh, go on, then. Yeah? yeah? Um. Right, well, I feel like that story was wasted. Yeah. Um. I, I did not very enjoy it. Yeah, but I hid behind a tree... Still what type of tree? It was an oak. <sighs> Fucking grow up. <laughs> Fuck me. Sorry, it should have been a mahogany, shouldn't it? Anthony Joshua is going to win this fight in the seventh round. Mark my words. Oh my God. I'm just giving a prediction. Just why a not? prediction. Yeah, why not? Fair enough. You heard it, folks. You still shit? Yeah. No. Oh, I just agreed. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, If you made it to the end, thank you. Yeah. Kirby will suck you off. If you made it to the end, yeah, just comment Grown Tube in Gr- the comments. Grown Tube. G R O A N. Yeah. Tube. <laughs> I'm not spelling tube. And then we'll know. Yeah, and we'll know the real ones. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, get involved in the giveaway. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, put your Instagram so I can get in contact with you. Congratulations, Ethan and Unknown Links. Is he a cat? Is it a bottle of links? I don't know. What's your favourite links? Quick. Three, two, one, chocolate. Weirdly, you know when they did the guys and for girls? Yeah. The girls one smelled incredible. Really? It smelled so nice. I think it was though it's because obviously it's meant for girls, oh, so I'm like cut. It. Your camera's cut. So you can only see me now. Ah! Ah! I can hear you. Right. See you in the next video. Goodbye. See ya.